Hello everybody, welcome to edu for ias Today we are going to discuss about one of the important thing and that is about the civil services examination, especially the mains. And, and to be specific, we are going to discuss today the tips or you can say the strategies that how to deal with economics as an optional subject in the IS exam. Fine. So remember, before I start with the tips, the nine, you know, the most important tips, which are very, very, you know, imperative for uh, scoring maximum marks and to be in the, top, you know, the top ranks of the UPSC CSC and become the IS officer. So for that thing, we need certain, you know, the important, you can say the tips or the strategies. And before that, let me tell you, something about economics as an optional subject since many of us know or even you might be aware that economics is one of the most scoring subject why i'm saying this because remember economics is not tough but rather technical where subjectivity is very limited so whenever you deal with certain you know technical subjects and where subjectivity is very negligible or very limited, then of course the chances of scoring, you know, your chance of, you know, getting maximum scores is very much, you can say, there. But, but never forget that for that purpose, we require a very good, you know, you can say, plan, strategic plan rather, to deal with this subject or to approach this economics optional subject for the IS exam. Fine. So today I'd be discussing about nine tips to prepare for economics optional paper for IS exam. Fine. So let us begin with the tip number one. So like any other, you know, optional subject which comprise, you know, which is of basically of 500 marks on aggregate and there are two papers. So even economics has these two papers then you know paper one and paper two so in and both the papers are of 250 marks each remember 250 marks each fine but remember so far your paper one is concerned paper one is more of technical in nature because this has you know the maximum you can say the four or five core subjects or the core economic subjects like micro, macro, development, developmental economics, then you have international this uh, economics and apart from that money and banking and all, uh, etc. So core jo aapke char subject that is micro, macro, international and developmental economics hai, the, uh, these core areas form the part of your paper one. So paper one in that sense is you know more dip, uh, you know uh, I would say technical as compared to the paper two, but and as and since this is technical, so obviously this is going to take the major proportion of your time or the preparation time. Okay, so it will take major proportion of your uh, preparation time, especially paper one. Okay. Now, if you talk about the paper two, which is again of 200, 250 marks. That is Indian economy only. Okay? Indian economy comprises of 250 marks. That is your paper 2 of economics optional. So in paper 2, remember it has overlap with your GS3 as well. General studies 3 paper. And if it means if you are preparing for paper 2, somewhere around out of 250 you know, marks of your GS3, somewhere you are already preparing for around 125 marks, 120 marks of your GS3. Fine. So this is one of the added advantage for opting economics as an optional subject in the UPSC CS exam. Okay. But about paper two, I would like to say, remember, not only this has overlap with GS3, but even this particularly economic Indian economy forms very, very important part of your, you know, both prelims as well as personality test where if you are from economics background or if, if you have opted for economics optional you will be definitely you know tested or you might be asked questions on the current Indian economic scenario or the situations okay so this is again a very good very dynamic one, one uh, you can say one very dynamic subject to deal with 
बट मजा बहुत आता है इसके साथ इंडियन इकोनॉमी को पढ़ते हुए या इसको करंट बिकॉज दिस इज वेरी मच रेलिवेंट यू नो जैसे आज इंडियन इकोनॉमी में क्या चल रहा है वी सी की इन्फ्लेशन चल रही है सी पी आई यू नो सी पी आई जो है आपकी इन्फ्लेशन रिटेल इन्फ्लेशन अगेन आपकी सिक्स जो अपर बैंड है दैट इज सिक्स परसेंट ऑफ आर बी आई उसको अगेन ब्रिज करके सिक्स प्लस जा चुकी है सो अगेन दिस इज हाउ इफ यू आर क्लियर विद द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ यूर इंडियन इकोनॉमी स्पेशली आई एम टॉकिंग द मनी इन बैंकिंग देन ऑफकोर्स यू कैन बेटर रिलेट दैट how you know what is the trend of inflation what is the trend of unemployment how the indian economy is doing fine so this is very very interesting subject you can see fine so let us move to the tip number 2 and tip number 2 is revisiting the syllabus and previous year questions why i am saying this to revisit because remember these two sets of you know the previous year questions and syllabus are the two you can say holy books which will guide you or help you in maximizing your score why so because syllabus helps you to begin with the end in mind the final destination fine that how you are going to approach this paper and what is those you know the important ends or the points which will help you in ultimately reaching your destination fine so that's why syllabus helps you in beginning with the end in mind fine and previous year questions gives you insights about how to you know how to prepare or what exactly is the level of preparation you required for tackling this you know uh, uh, paper or to maximize your or maximizing your score fine so previous year questions especially tells you about the level of preparation you need or you required for that purpose theek okay? hai for maximizing your score and then another thing that previous year questions talks about or tells you that is favorite topics of upsc remember every year i would say every alternate years not every year but alternate years you find that there are certain topics or the questions which get repeated without fail remember and these and only previous year questions would be uh, you know would tell you about those sets of topics and questions which gets repeated for example harrod you know knife edge under harrod model this is one topic which gets repeated fine so this is how you get the idea after looking you know after going through your previous year questions that what are the topics basically or the questions getting repeated Harrod's knife edge equilibrium. One of the topic which gets repeated. Fine. So these are the advantages of revisiting or going through your syllabus and PYQs. Fine. Now moving to the tip number three. Once we are clear about our you know the basics of our paper that what type of paper we are going to deal with. The, we have two sets of you know the papers paper 1 paper 2 in paper 1 we have this is subjects and in paper 2 we are to deal with the indian economy which is again a very interesting subject after that we are clear with the, uh, under tip 2 ki previous year questions and syllabus jo hai wo apne aap ko these two documents the holy documents i would say must you know be there on your study table so they will uh, so the, because these two documents will keep guiding you throughout your preparation fine and then after that moving to the tip number 3 and tip number 3 is basically about the sources because agar aapko paper ki clarity hai aapne syllabus dekh liya hai aapne previous year question dekh liya to now the question come be comes in for that how or from where to prepare what is the sources to like indian economy to uske liye kaun si book padhni hai micro so there are you know n number of books in the market so which one would be the best for us because remember one thing i would underline here that always try to minimize your sources if you want to maximize your score fine so standard sources ki agar baat kare especially paper 1 ki to microeconomics ke liye kaun si recommended books hain so modern microeconomics by potsenius of course this is a very very important book theek hai apart from that we have pindic and rubinfield for microeconomics again and 
and again Indian author the H. L. Ahuja again one of the important books so one three and two four as well micro appendix for references as well and at the last you will see in every uh, you know the subjects I have mentioned our world of economics macroeconomics booklet because the world of economics remember is a unit of edu for is only which is specifically deals with economic which deals or which is a specialization in economic field okay so world of economics key microeconomic booklets now why 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 to uh, you know focus on the booklet why i have mentioned here remember it's not possible for us considering the duration of our exam and the level of i know the technicality of the subject that is economics we we might not be able to you know uh, prepare notes or make notes or to uh, you know follow or to get the you know the requisite materials by your own it may not be possible so for that purpose because let us say you have purchased all the books hai na? but but let me tell you i will suggest you personally don't purchase each and every book please don't waste your money you have the pdfs available for majority of the books especially the foreign authors books theek hai and jo chahi jaise ahuja hai ahuja of course you can buy it theek hai so jiski pdf available nahi hai jiski hai so at least you know economics ke student ho to at least try to economize your resources theek hai so booklet isliye kyunki ye teeno books aap individually leke padhoge theek hai it will take you know very much time you know it will take long time plus plus you might not be able to interlink the things getting that ho sakta hai ki kuch cheeze ek court series mein better di ho kuch cheeze printing mein achhi ho kuch cheeze ahuja mein achhi ho so unless and until we don't have prior you know experience or expertise in a particular subject we won't be able to by your own you know find out these interlinkages theek hai that which topic to pick from which of the book okay so in book in our booklet in stu's booklet that you would be getting along uh, uh, your you know the this classes and all so under your course you will be getting booklet for free of course of course so under our uh, in our booklet we cover each and every you know the standard sources or the references okay and we provide you the comprehensive notes for the booklets of a particular subject ठीक है Similarly, let us talk about the macroeconomic sources. So, macroeconomics. जब हम बात करते हैं, we have Don Bush and Fisher. Uh, then another very very good book we have that is Froen. Of course, important. Even Don Bush is fine. Then principle of macroeconomics, Shapiro. Then we another have like modern, modern macroeconomics, uh, Ben and Snowden. So, of course, there are n number of books. Then finally, we have our own booklet. ठीक है सो बुक अगर पढ़नी है तो ऑफ कोर्स यू कैन रेफर डॉन बुश यू कैन रेफर फ्रोएन यू कैन इवन रेफर शपीरो बट इफ यू वांट इंटीग्रेटेड एंड कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव नोट्स देन ऑफ कोर्स यू कैन सोलरी रिलाय ऑन आर बुकलेट बिकॉज वी वुड बी आल्सो यूजिंग द स्टैंडर्ड सोर्सेज नॉट जस्ट थ्री बट एडिशनल टू थ्री मोर ठीक है एज आई सेड मॉडर्न माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स वेन एंड स्नोडन सो बिकॉज इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल टू लिस्ट इन एवरीथिंग हियर ठीक है सो दैट्स वाई आई हैव कवर्ड जस्ट टू थ्री वन important ones theek hai so in our booklet we will be providing the comprehensive note material and covering all, all of the important standard sources not just one or two books theek hai similarly let us talk about the international economic sources so international economics ki jab hum baat karte hain to the most important book that we have is in the market or the most recommended you know suggested book for this international economics is salvador ठीक है, of course, indeed, this is the most important book. Then we have again World of Economics, International Economic Booklet, because not just just Salvatore, but there are certain topics or certain aspect of your syllabus which might not be covered in the Salvatore, especially those which might be you know uh, have linkages with the Indian economy, especially with the application of with respect to the Indian economy. So those could be covered from other sources, and that's why our booklet covers each and everything, which is again a and integrated and comprehensive one theek hai then development ki baat hum kare so again we have todaro and smith then we have jhingan book that is growth and development theek hai you can read it as well 
because the Darwin Smith is not going to cover each and every. Remember, none of the book is going to cover each and every aspect of your syllabus. That's why booklets become very, very important because booklets give you entire coverage or comprehensive coverage of your entire syllabus. The only books, uh, I mean, the booklet can provide you or covering the whole aspect of your syllabus and not, none of any single book. That's why I said not to, you know, blindly purchase each and every book. Okay. World of Economics Development, econo uh, yes, Bo Developmental Economics Booklet you can get, uh, you will, of course, you will get with the course, okay, course material, so Growth and Development, Jingan and Todd Aaron Smith, okay, then we have an, uh, another, you know, for public finance, if we talk about so we have, you know, again, one of the important books that is Musgrave, but Musgrave, let me tell you, don't cover, uh, you know, doesn't cover, you know, much of your, or every single aspect of your syllabus again it not even covered the 50 percent of your syllabus so that's why it's it's no use of you know investing uh, you know entirely purchasing this book okay public financed by bhartia hl bhartia so you can see one of the important aspect here that i am providing the sources that in every single subject i have mentioned at least one of the one of the what indian author book Okay, and that is you know Joe important hai, wo mention karenge, karenge. macroeconomics may as such koi nahi hai. that's why I have not given. But macroeconomics may be HL Ahuja ki macroeconomics book hai. Usme se ek se do chapter aise hai, jo, jo un baakiyo books mein agar nahi milti, especially with respect to the Indian economy wala part, jahan pe macroeconomics se related kuch hai, to wo hum wahan se bhi cover kar sakte hai. That's why I said ki not possible for me to mention each list and give you the list of 8-10 books. So rather we have comprehensive, you know, the integration of material in a, under our booklets only. Okay. So public finance by HL Bhatia, then of course our own public finance IS economics optional booklet. Okay. Then Indian economy. Indian economy ke let me tell you, aapko kahi nahi jana. We, you know, our core faculty of world of economics by uh, Dr. Madhur M. Mahajir. Chika is a senior prof uh, you know, professor. Uh, so, uh, you can just, you know, refer this uh, Indian economic book that is by uh, Madhur sir. Chika for uh, published, you know, this second edition is already there in the market, which is, which has been published by Pearson, one of the world's renowned, you know, publisher. So, blindly you can trust here. It's not that he's one of the core faculty of our, you know, or, or the, uh, this uh, mentor of our institute that's why we're talking about no you just need to go through his book and you yourself will find out that how his book is entirely different or how his book you know scores better compared to the other books available in the market it's up to you okay so but this book is sufficient more than sufficient for covering indian economy especially and even certain parts of macroeconomics that is money and banking aspect financial markets okay so this is even uh, covering the you know the first part of your syllabus under indian economy paper 2 that is um, uh, history or you can say the prior you know before in the state of indian economy prior, um, before independence even those sets of things have been very beautifully covered under this book okay then latest economic survey yes survey is very very important especially volume 2 agar do volumes mein aata otherwise volume 1 ka hi this is very very important for your exam then let us budget document especially yes because budget announces new schemes and all so this is requires but economic survey aapko padhna hi padhna hai religiously aapko isko padhna padega theek hai and let us budget documents isse aapko new schemes and new jo bhi announcements hain ya previous years ke targets kya the so you get that trend basically theek hai so you would be able to cause the trend from the budget document then rbi monthly bulletins yes RBI ki monthly bulletins are follow kar sakte for authentic stats and facts because under Indian economy stats and facts become very very important. Okay. Then next tip number four ki agar hum baat kare, so coaching versus self study. I would say this is very you know tricky question, coaching versus self study. But I will try my best to you know clear this doubt or this confusion or quandary that how we can. Up, you know whether we uh, do we really need coaching or not let me give you certain things certain facts number one is that you know whether you are joining a coaching or not that's not a big deal the big question is you always need somebody to you know 
यू नो मोनिटर यू स्पेशली अगर आप आंसर लिख रहे हो अगर आपके पास कोई है जो चेक कर सकता है और ऑनेस्ट फीडबैक दे सकता है देन यू नीड नॉट टू फोर्स ज्वाइन बट इसमें एक और चीज मैटर करती है इफ यू इफ यू आर यू नो इफ यू हैव यू नो योर सीनियर्स अराउंड यू और द मेंटोर और टीचर्स और एनी बडी यू नो हु आर एक्सपर्ट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर इकोनॉमिक्स पेपर सो यू माइट नॉट बी यू माइट नॉट बी यू नो नीडेड वॉट द दिस कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट ठीक है बट बट for that thing the condition is firstly to see our own background whether we come from the economics field agar humne graduation post graduation kari hai economics mein then certainly i assume that we have at least the basic knowledge of economics fine and then after that we can rely on our seniors and mentors we can give us the honest feedbacks but let us assume there are even examples oh, 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 you know examples like we have got uh, is gaurav agrawal sir 2014 all india rank 1 then uh, is abhijit sinha sir you know both of them come from you know non economics background theek hai they are from engineering background or management side but they opted economics as an optional paper and then they not only you know got the very good rank rather they topped all india even rank 1 theek hai so considering all this fact i say first barometer would be your background whether you have the familiarity with this subject or not or prior uh, experience or you know uh, with this economic subject or not because this would form the core part of your whether going for coaching or preparing you know self uh, going for self study basically because if you don't have knowledge like jo uh, main examples they got of the rbg sinha sir khud bhi because they were from iits and management iims so of course they were able to but they in they even joined the coaching institutes because if you don't have prior you know because khud se padh ke ho jata hai but that level comes after certain time period theek hai initially you need somebody to hand hold theek hai so it's entirely up to you i won't say to join our coaching institute or any other institute it's entirely up to you theek hai agar aapko join karna hai do join nahi karna hai you are the better judge of yourself theek hai बट आई सेट कि बैकग्राउंड अपना ध्यान रखना जरूरी है प्लस वेदर यू आर अ डिसिप्लिन वन और नॉट वेदर वुड बी एबल टू यू नो स्टडी कंसिस्टेंटली और नॉट दीज आर द थिंग्स वेदर यू हैव द सीनियर्स और मेंटर्स व्हिच हु कैन गिव यू द ऑनेस्ट यू नो द फीडबैक्स सो दिस थिंग्स वेरी मच मैटर्स ठीक है बिकॉज़ अल्टीमेटली यू नीड टू स्कोर मैक्सिमाइज योर स्कोर विद अ मिनिमम एफर्ट्स एंड टू गेट द वेरी गुड रैंक्स टू बी द टॉपर्स in the all india ranks theek hai so uh, what could be the point so subject expert and teacher whether you have the you know uh, whether you are familiar or whether you have this experts or teachers you know you uh, in your contacts or not this is the one point i would say then focus should be minimizing your efforts and maximizing your score and that is possible only and only if you are clear with your, your you, if you have clarity of your basics or and if you are getting the you know honest feedbacks theek hai then academic background of course it matters the way i gave the example of gaurav agrawal sir and abhijit sinha sir so of course you can uh, always check you know this your background and your level of confidence that you might would be able to generate in economics subject theek hai chahe aapki background 5 saal 6 saal ki rahi ho economics ki ya na rahi ho doesn't matter because i say i said this is a technical subject ठीक है स्पेशल पेपर 1 एंड दिस इज अ वेरी डायनामिक एंड इंटरेस्टिंग सब्जेक्ट सो दो इवन दोस हु आर नॉट फ्रॉम द इकोनॉमिक्स बैकग्राउंड डू ऑप्ट फॉर दिस दिस पर्टिकुलर सब्जेक्ट बिकॉज़ दैट्स द ब्यूटी ऑफ दिस सब्जेक्ट ठीक है नॉन इकोनॉमिक्स टॉपर्स एज आई हैव गिवन यू द एग्जांपल ऑफ गौरव अग्रवाल सर एंड अभिजीत सिन्हा सर ठीक है सो इवन दो इफ यू आर नॉट फ्रॉम इकोनॉमिक्स बैकग्राउंड नथिंग टू वरी यू कैन ट्रस्ट मी बी वन ऑफ द टॉपर्स लाइक गौरव अग्रवाल सर even with uh, even if you are from engineering background or management background or any other background theek hai tip number 5 having a clear timeline yes when the subject is technical or when the syllabus is vast you need a you know very very clear timeline and when i refer to the clear timeline it means what to keep in mind the vastness or the technical technicalities of your syllabus and the and for this thing to address the vastness or technical subject ki jo jo technicality hai subject ki 
उसको एड्रेस कैसे कर सकते हैं विद डेडिकेटेड प्रेपरेशन ऑफ फोर फाइव मंथ्स ठीक है तो अगर चार से पांच महीने आप डेडिकेशन के साथ प्रेपरेशन करोगे तो इकोनॉमिक्स इज नॉट दैट डिफिकल्ट टू हैंडल ठीक है सो इट वुड बी इजली हैंडल विद फोर फाइव मंथ्स ऑफ प्रेपरेशन प्रोवाइडेड यू हैव क्लियर टाइम लाइन ठीक है टिप नंबर सिक्स अफेक्टिव नोट मेकिंग यस रिमेम्बर नोट मेकिंग इज एन आर्ट ठीक है एंड 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 वेरी फ्यू ऑफ अर्स आर आर्टिस्ट आर द आर्टिस्ट ठीक है सो दैट्स वाई इफेक्टिव नोट मेकिंग यू नो इज इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज सिंस नेचर ऑफ योर सब्जेक्ट इज यू नो डायनामिक सो एंड एज वेल एज वी हैव स्टेटिक कॉम्पोनेंट एज वेल स्पेशली फ्रॉम द पेपर वन वेयर वी हैव मॉडल थेरीज लाइक इन योर डेवलपमेंटल इकोनॉमिक्स वी हैव डेवलपमेंटल रिलेटेड यू नो this theories of uh, development or the models related to development or even micro and macro mein so for that sake static ko dynamic ke sath dynamic component especially indian economy is your dynamic so aapko how to relate suppose static or dynamic example do mai so we can say like for example monetary policy jaise initially maine baat ki inflation and all so static component kya hai monetary jo money and banking hai core that is monetary policy you can say as such as concept is a static uh you know uh this component of your syllabus but dynamism kya hai yahan pe how this monetary policy is actually getting implemented in the real sense or or what is the state of indian uh, you know the inflation in the economy or how the in inflation is you know uh trending or what is the trend of inflation over time theek hai so dynamism or even exogenous or you know uh, uh, exogenous was factor like russia invasion of ukraine so unki wajah se is invasion ki wajah se kya direct effect india ki inflation badhti hai kam hoti hai what is the effect of that thing upon the indian economy of russian invasion of ukraine so of course this is a dynamic part so how we interrelate or integrate the static with the dynamic part becomes very very important and that too while you know making the notes because it won't be possible for us to directly write this in the exam if we are we not if you are not if you have not prepared it before the exam or we have not mentioned such or not integrated the top dynamic and static part while making our notes theek hai so ekdam se nahi ho jayega ye wo over the time hi practice ke sath hi hoga then economics mein diagrams and flow charts very very important facts and stats especially in the paper 2 i said indian economy wala jo part hai aapka paper hai second of 250 marks so facts and stats bahut important hai but not every fact but only the important ones theek hai ye nahi ki sab kuch kar li ratte maar rahe nahi uski koi wo nahi hai and facts and stats ke liye best document your economic survey and budget theek hai and even ki rbi monetary uh, this monthly bulletins and all theek hai so static and authentic uh, 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 especially focus on the uh, getting authentic facts and figures even from the newspaper readings okay so this is the tip number 6 again note making mein aapne ye bhi dhyan rakhna ki jo bhi aapki suppose agar paper 1 ki baat kare jahan pe aap models aur theory ki suppose development economics se baat kare so aapne wahan pe suppose harrer and domer model ki baat kare to you need to you know keep in mind the equations agar koi hai ya suppose koi स्पेशली अजम्पन स्पेशली अजम्पन पार्ट आपने स्किप नहीं करना किसी में भी अदरवाइज योर एंटायर थियोरी इज ऑफ नो यूज बिकॉज एवरी थियोरी स्टार्ट विद सर्टन अजम्पन एंड अगर वो अजम्पन ही हम स्किप कर देंगे देन ऑन वॉट गुड यू नो ऑन वॉट गुड यू नो बेस और द ग्राउंड वी आर गोइंग टू बिल्ड दो थेरीज फर्दर ठीक है सो इट्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट इन योर नोट्स टू यू नो दिस incorporate the diagrams the flow chart the assumption part theek hai chalo so next to tip yes effective rating of newspapers remember for any dynamic you know optional subjects like economics newspaper reading becomes indispensable why i am saying this because uh, i will come to that because indian economics is a dynamic subject and there you in, even you get the you know authentic facts and starts from your newspapers so that is very very important any good national daily you can read for that purpose for example the economic times or the indian express theek hai theek hai you might be uh, you might ask the hindu but indian express is far better in terms of coverage of economic especially things even the editorials of uh, indian express covers economics to a greater extent as well as it has 
you know every other paper has separate you know this uh, this page for economics and business related page but even it has explained page which covers many important aspects of economics right so that's why i would say you can go with the indian express economic times ek hi padna remember dono mein se ha dono ya even main tip can refer but that would be referred only and on, only during the time of your personality test and not prior to that remember personality test ke time pe aap do se teen paper read kar sakte ho especially those days with um, uh, you know this economics like main and uh, economic times and indian express to must have for even covering your gs part and all theek hai so that's why focus more on the analysis part yes because isme aisa hai ki suppose indian economic suppose abhi jaise current hum le lete hain budget aaya to let us say subsidy तो सब्सिडी गवर्नमेंट ने कुछ कट किए कुछ रैशनलाइज किए हैं सो सब्सिडी पे हो सकता है कि आपने कोई एडिटोरियल पढ़ा अब यू डोंट नो कि उस राइटर ने किसी ने भी अगर आप भी कुछ कह रहे हो तो दैट इज योर व्यू ठीक है इट्स नॉट नेसेसरी कि मैं उस व्यू को एक्सेप्ट ही कर लूं सो so वैसे ही किसी राइटर ने वो किसी भी आइडियोलॉजी के हो सकते हैं एक्स वाई जेड या किसी भी बैकग्राउंड से हो सकते हैं सो so उन्होंने लिखा जो उन्होंने लिखा वो उनकी अपनी परसेप्शन है वो अपनी व्यूज है इट्स नॉट कि वो जो कह रहे हो हंड्रेड ठीक ही होगा या हंड्रेड गलत ही होगा नहीं इट्स अप टू वर्स कि हाउ वी सी द थिंग हाउ वी रीड बिटवीन द लाइन्स ठीक है सो अनालिसिस पार्ट जो है उस पर हमें फोकस रखना है ठीक है पढ़ने के बाद दो मिनट सोचो कि ये जिस बंदे ने लिखा है वेदर वॉट ही इज सेंग इज एंटायरली ट्रू और एंटायरली यू नो अन ट्रू और रॉन्ग दैट वॉन्ट बी सीनैरियो बट मिडल ग्राउंड होगा हमेशा कुछ चीजें ठीक होगी कुछ गलत भी होंगी so your you know viewpoint matters and personality test ke liye yahi se hamare you know personality banti over the time we you know this generate our viewpoint through the analysis ki ha yaar ye aise nahi hai to aise ho sakta hai theek hai ki agar subsidy whether subsidy is uh, cut kiya hai jo government ne rationalize kiya kya ye theek hai indian economy ke liye ya nahi hai to again there could be a view or personality test interview mein aapse is tarah ke questions puche bhi jayenge पूछे जाते भी हैं कि हाँ यार गवर्नमेंट ने रेशनलाइज कर दिया सब्सिडी या कट कर दिया मनरेगा के लिए बजट कम कर दिया सो डोंट यू थिंक दिस इज अ रॉन्ग स्टेप सो यू माइट यू नो आंसर कुड बी एनी थिंग इफ यू आर एबल टू जस्टिफाई यूर यू नो व्यू अगर आपने जस्टिफाई कर दिया वेदर इन पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव सेंस वट एवर यू आर सेंग देन द आंसर इज करेक्ट इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू जस्टिफाई वॉट यू आर सेंग देन ट्रस्ट मी इट वुड बी अ मेजर ब्लैंडर ठीक है सो नेक्स्ट इज ऑथेंटिक फैक्ट्स एंड स्टैट्स यस दिस थिंग आई वाज रेफरिंग फॉर स्पेशली द डायनेमिक यू नो एस्पेक्ट ऑफ सिलेबस राइट स्पेशली द पेपर 2 इंडियन इकॉनमी व्हिच इज वेरी मच डायनेमिक सो फॉर दैट यू नीड टू बी यू नो बेटर एक्वेंट विद द करंट हैपनिंग्स ऑफ द ऑफ द इंडियन करंट हैपनिंग्स गोइंग अराउंड द वर्ल्ड इकॉनमी एज़ वेल एज़ स्पेशली द इंडियन इकॉनमी ठीक है स्पेशली पोस्ट कोविड वी सी अ लॉट ऑफ डायनेमिज्म इन uh today in the indian economy or even the world economy theek hai so that becomes very very important to analyze and even keep tap on the stats and facts authentic ones especially theek hai so tip number 8 effective answer writing okay so as far as answer writing is concerned note making mein maine baat ki thi because note making ka concern wahi se tha because note making mein agar aap is cheez ko operate kar loge to answer writing usi ki ek you know more or less it's a carbon copy kind of thing so agar aapne pehle hi aapki hand on aapne experience ho hai already aapne notes acche banaye hain so of course this only the notes would be handy at the at last moment and on the basis of those things only you are going to write the answers so assumptions and graph i have said ki isko kisi bhi kimat pe isko स्किप नहीं करना रिमेंबर बिकॉज अगर assumptions को आपने स्किप कर दी इट मीन यूट बी एबल टू जस्टिफाई योर थेरी ऑन वट ग्राउंड यू आर लिंग दैट थेरी और बिल्डिंग दैट थेरी अगर आपने assumptions से मिस कर दिया ठीक है सो असम्शन एंड ग्राफ्स और यू कैन से डायग्राम आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन इकोनॉमिक्स ऑप्शनल देन गेट यूर आंसर इवेल्युएटेड एज आई सेड कि इनिशियली इन दू नो डिस्कसिंग वाइल डिस्कसिंग टिप नंबर प्रोबली थ्री जहाँ पे हमने बात की थी कोचिंग और इस फोर में भी जहाँ पे हमने कोचिंग एंड फैक्ट स्टडी की बात की थी सो इफ यू इफ यू आर हैविंग वेरी गुड एक्सपर्ट ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स which is evaluate who is evaluating your paper and you, if you are getting the honest feedbacks so trust me you are more than blessed theek hai so answer evaluation is very very important and remember if you think by even even if in the first instance if if you, even if you can check you can tally your own answers 
You can match your answer with the toppers copies. If you can go through that or even you can compare your answer whatever you have written with the notes you have already made. So, this is the way that you have to know yourself whether what you have written is your absolute best or not. If it is not, then I would, I would suggest you to please rewrite, rewrite and rewrite again and again. That's the only key to maximize your score. Then rewrite, rewrite, yeah, already written. So this is the only key. If you, if you, if you yourself think this is not your absolute best, so first evaluate by, uh, you know, make self-evaluation. And then only after that, you can, if you think, yes, that is the, uh, you know, a, a level where you think that your answer is best, which you have written, which you can't write good, then please get it evaluated by the subject experts. Okay? Then you will be getting certain addition. You will, be, you will benefit from those evaluations. But first, better keep khud karo. Okay? Then final and the last step from our, you know, edu for is and that is stay motivated and enjoy the process because why so because on this you know during this journey of is preparation especially with economics as an optional subject there you will find many people will demotivate you that economics is not an option uh, is not an easy optional but let me tell you again that this is one of the most highest scoring subject okay secondly it's a technical where subjectivity is very limited so this is the reason why you can score better because jahan pe subjectivity come like other service so, so, sociology and all i'm not saying ki wahan pe scores acche nahi aate aate hain but wahan pe subjectivity ka scope zyada hai compared to the economics which is a technical one fine but not the tough one remember theek hai so motivated and enjoy the process do not let anyone demotivate you if you are you, if you have passion if you are passionate about this subject if you have confidence about your preparation then please don't get demotivated by anybody because it's very easy to pass the judgments or demotivate you okay only we know or the one who is preparing for that subject knows the reality that how much he or she has prepared or or where he or she stands okay so always try to be honest with yourself and don't get demotivated by others or don't allow anybody to introduce you know or demotivate you so do not let anyone demotivate you right choice for you yes i said ki if you feel confident about the subject and if you are if you have passion for economics then please let me tell you that it is indeed a very good choice for you we have already made a very good choice please stick to that okay because i have seen that many of the aspirants keep changing their optionals that is again not a good thing Okay, at least take time initially in deciding your optional that which one actually you are better with or you are passionate for. Okay, where you passion or interest, you have to because you have to read this in detail. And if you are giving three, four months or five months to a particular subject, you can stand, understand ki how what is going to take from you. Okay, so it is a right choice if you have already, you know, give uh, if you have already devoted sufficient time or if you are passionate and if you have interest for the subject okay then you need to you know keep practicing or have a small breaks of yoga meditation even you can um, you know listen music as well because these are very uh, you know because this is very much required in order to you know uh, get uh, you know feel refreshed as well as to give rest to your brain and the body because these things going to provide the fuel for this for the journey you are embarking upon okay so please stay motivated and enjoy the process because your ultimate destiny is labasa okay so always keep this thing in mind that nobody can distract me because my final destination is labasa and i am going to get it okay and i am going to reach there so that's why when you say this to yourself no one can dare to demotivate you Remember, okay, unless and until you won't allow yourself to get demotivated, nobody can demotivate you, okay. So that's it as far as the nine tips re regarding how to tackle or prepare for economics as an optional subject for the UPSC CSE exam or for the IS exam. 
So that's it from my side. If you have any query, anything, you can put the same in the comment section. Thank you and all the best.